Perfect. Okay. So if you can, just give us your first and last name for both of you. And um, my name is Margaret Payne. This is my husband, Rick, Rick Payne. Payne. Rick Payne, okay. Uh, so you guys are very emotional today. Talk about hearing, you know, you obviously got a, an outcome that you were looking for, a $100,000 mm -hmm. bond, your reaction. Uh, uh, I, I'm speechless. I'm just so glad, you know, that it went that way. I mean, we're sorry for what happened and everything regards to Mr. Heron's family and everything, but Hannah is not the person that they are saying she is. She's not at all. She's the sweetest, most caring. Does not see color, does not see race, nothing at all. She is just a, an a, amazing human being. That she is, she is. And if you ever get the chance to know her, you, you'll, you'll realize that as soon as you lay eyes on her. Talk about, you, you guys kind of got thrust into this as well, and sitting there in court and watching your daughter uh, feel the emotions and to see her in pain. Talk about what goes through your mind as a parent. Just pain. I mean, I'm, I'm completely heartbroken. I feel like something is missing, and it is missing, and it's, and it's Hannah. What do you say, you just mentioned about the family, Mr. Harris' family. What do you want to say to them? I just wanted to say that this was an unfortunate, unfortunate situation that, you know, turned out the way it did, but not at the hands of my daughter. What do you mean not at the hands of your daughter? Just, it was not her fault. What do you guys think happened? Uh, I don't know. Point, I've got to I don't okay, know. Real, yeah. real quickly then, I'll, I'll change course on that. Um, can you talk about what led, she had a concealed weapons permit? Yes. Right? Can you talk mm -hmm. about what led to her getting a firearm and what she, what her, just everyday protection that the, the society that we live in today you know I mean you hear about it every day on the news innocent people are getting shot innocent people are getting broken into and you know she travels around Atlanta with her job and just personal protection I mean and everybody has the right to do that Ms. Payne do you think she would have made the same decision no matter what the race of the person involved in that hit and run absolutely uh, yes yeah, Hannah doesn't see Absolutely. color. Yeah, she does not see color. She sees right. She sees wrong. That, that's that's who she is. What are you gonna do when you're gonna make that post that bail? I would imagine today, and then what? Hopefully, just hold my daughter and never let her go. You know, but I can't do that. I mean, we have been torn apart. Thank you. Um, so tell us your relation to Hannah. She's my girlfriend. Just tell us your reaction. How long have you, first of all, you, how long have you been dating Hannah? Like two years. So what was your, what's your reaction to what she's been going through in this whole situation? What was your reaction when you first heard what happened? I didn't believe what happened, you know, in that case, because that's not Hannah at all. Because like they say, you know, she been through like a lot of problems with job, uh, his jo her job, family, you know, it's just a lot of stuff, you know that she was handled. And um, that thing, that's all that happened, you know, she just have like too much shit going on. A lot of people are bringing race into this issue and, and pointing to that. How do you feel about that? What's your reaction to that? That's just not true. Because you can really tell, like, all the Hannah's friends, you can really see. Even me, though. She's not like that. Which your nationality? Dominican. You're Dominican? Yes, sir. So you don't see her seeing race? In At all. So what do you think when you hear people make this into a race issue? Well, people that they said that because they race. That's what I think. Because if you see right here, I'm not seeing color though. We just, we just humans. That's what I think. I've been best friends with her since I was 14 and I'm 20 now, so. And so y'all met in high school? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so talk about Hannah. She is an amazing person. Um, in marching band, it was mentioned earlier, um, she was my, month pop, my parent, and I mean, she took care of me through high school, and after that, we became, became best friends, and she's just so sweet and loving and caring. I just love her. Were you in marching band with her? Yes, we both played the clarinet. I was her section leader. <laughs> when you heard about what happened, this incident, what did you think? I really couldn't believe it. I was shocked. I didn't want to believe it. What was so hard to believe about? Because that's not Hannah. I just because what the news was saying, it just wasn't Hannah at all. And I couldn't imagine her doing something like that out of malice. And that's what they were saying. And that's just not Hannah at all. Did you know that Hannah had a, a concealed weapons permit? No, I did not know. But 
I'm sure she got it because she needed protection, you know, just yeah. what normal people do to get, you know, protection. So, I, I just, the whole, you know, we have to ask you as well, the whole race issue that people are bringing into this, and, and, and obviously that's the, the victim's um, you know, family feels that that could be, mm -hmm. that could be an issue. What, what's your reaction to that? I believe that it's easy for people to say that because that's the racial climate right now and that is a lot of the stories you hear going on but that's not the case and I can say that personally because I know Hannah and if that was the case I would not be friends with her and she's not that person at all. And you've never heard her say anything questionable? Ever. Yeah. Ever. Okay. A message, do you guys want to say anything to the, to the victim and his uh, family? Just that you know, we are deeply sorry for what happened and you know if it's, it's a real unfortunate situation. Um, you know, she didn't mean any malice. She didn't come, you know, you know, they say she came with her drum, with her gun drawn, and, but she didn't come with any violent intent. She didn't come to take anybody's life.